In this episode, I would like to give you detailed feedback on an essay, written by one of our students at Plus One Point, and share some tips on how to improve your score in IELTS writing. Hello everyone, this is Brooke from Plus One Point. In this series, I will be using essays, written by our students, to give you tips on how to improve your score in IELTS writing. If you are interested, please subscribe to our channel. Let's start by looking at the task. Many large supermarkets are being built today, while the number of small shops is decreasing. Do the advantages of this, outweigh the disadvantages? In the previous video, we discussed the introduction in detail. This time, we will look at the first body paragraph together. I believe that disadvantages of increasing large supermarkets, instead of decreasing small shops, outweigh the advantages, because local economy become weak. Native people there, are losing many job opportunities, because of appearance of huge supermarket all over the world. Long time ago, we could see small shops, which was running by local families all around the corner. Such kind of shops used to sell original local products from the area, not the items which was made in different town. Therefore, local people could make living, by selling and producing the products. Besides that, people live there, could go and shop there very often, because the shops were easy to access, which was convenient for local people. However, large supermarkets are managed by big companies, which own the similar shops all over the world. Once they decide to close the shop because of bad income there, no small shops are left anymore. First, let's correct the spelling errors. To reduce spelling errors, it is important to make a list of words you are likely to misspell, and review them. Let's look at each sentence in more detail. In the first sentence, we are not talking about disadvantages in general terms, so we need the article, the. The expression, increasing large supermarkets, is somewhat unnatural, so it is better to use, increase, as a noun. The expression, an increase in something, is a useful way of saying, something is increasing. The same applies to, instead of decreasing small shops, but here, it is somewhat redundant, so let's delete it. As pointed out in the introduction, because the local economy become weak, should be, because the local economy becomes weaker, but we will choose another expression here. Using the expression, A leads to, B, we can express it in this way because it leads to the weakening of the local economy. Now, let's look at the second sentence. Native people there are losing many job opportunities. The expression, native people, is not clear here, so let's change it to many people. The writer wanted to say, that they are losing their jobs, rather than losing job opportunities, so let's simply put it this way. Many people are losing their jobs, Appearance, is followed by a qualifier, of huge market, so the definite article, the, is necessary. Supermarket, is a countable noun, so it should be expressed in a plural form, when talking in general terms. Now, on to the third sentence. Long time ago, means, far in the past. The writer simply wanted to convey the meaning of, the past, so let's say, in the past for the part of, which was running. The antecedent of which, is small shops, and since small shops did not run anything, but rather small shops, were, run by someone, it is necessary to express the phrase in the passive voice here. All around the corner, is a somewhat unnatural expression. If you mean, all around the town, you can express it as, in every part of town. Such kind of shops, would be better expressed simply as, such shops. The second half of the sentence states almost the same thing as the first half, and seems somewhat redundant, so let's remove this. Therefore, is a cohesive device, which expresses causality, but here, it would be more natural to connect it directly, with, and. Local people, should be replaced with, they, to avoid repetition, and to improve cohesion. Make living, is an idiomatic expression, but it is usually accompanied by an article, make a living. 
The order of, selling and producing, is the opposite, so let's say, producing and selling. In order to make the connection better, and to clarify what is being referred to, let's replace, the products, with, these products. Besides that, has the meaning of, in addition to that, but it also has the meaning of, apart from that, so let's use, furthermore. People live there, is a complete sentence, and cannot be continued with another verb, could go. It is grammatically incorrect to say, people, live there, could go. The grammatically correct phrase would be, people, who, live there, could go. But this is a bit redundant, so it is better to say, local people. Go and shop, is also redundant, so it would be better to say, shop. Very often, is a bit colloquial, and should be replaced by a written expression, such as, regularly. As for, which was convenient, the antecedent of which, is not clear, what is convenient, seems to be shops, so we should connect it with, and. For local people, is obvious to the reader, so it can be omitted. Supermarket, is one word, so don't put a space between them. For the part, the similar shops, the writer is not talking about a specific shop, so remove the article. Bad income there, is also colloquial, so use vocabulary, such as a lack of revenue. Finally, let's read through the essay one more time. I believe, that the disadvantages of an increase in large supermarkets, outweigh the advantages, because it leads to the weakening of the local economy. Many people are losing their jobs, because of the appearance of huge supermarkets, all over the world. In the past, we could see small shops, which were run by local families in every part of town. Such shop, used to sell original local products from the area, and they could make a living, by producing and selling these products. Furthermore, local people could shop there regularly, because the shops were easy to access and convenient. However, large supermarkets are managed by big companies, which own similar shops all over the world. Once they decide to close the shop, because of a lack of revenue, no small shops are left anymore. In this video, we've looked at the first body paragraph. We are going to look at the second body paragraph in our next video, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you found this video informative, please also hit the like button, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.